So I got this BAFX Products OBD2 Diagnostics Interface right now. It's in a 1999 Suburban, GMC Suburban. And uh, I tethered it to my phone. I made a video earlier, first time I'm doing it. Don't know if I liked it, so I haven't done nothing with it yet, but we'll see. So now you could set on all your pages a bunch of different things. So I have, uh, I'm trying to find something here. So I'm setting it up on the page. I don't have nothing done to this, just a crate 350 that came, you know, in the vehicle. I don't know if it's original miles, 162 on the clock. And uh, so I'm setting up some pages here. It's pretty neat. Coolant, acceleration, I'm not moving at all right now. Bearings, speed, all different pages you could set this stuff up. So I'm just uh, doing different things here. I tried to change it on this home page on this and here if you read look like small print still in kilometers an hour I, try, I have it set for miles per hour because I'm in America and I tried to do that but it didn't really didn't really work so I tried to adjust the codes and I know I have a O2 sensor problem and it, I tried to reset it but I was doing something wrong and I still am doing something wrong so I got to uh, play with that a little bit so far it's pretty neat I drove down the road and it works and uh, maybe I'll drive down the road here one second just to show you so let me set this up here advanced add display I want to do I like the display mode here cool engine load fuel bank a lot of awesome stuff here this is this doesn't have anything hooked up none of the sensors really crazy so I'm not sure how much will show up on this stuff so ah, there it is so so the voltage on the actual vehicle doesn't do nothing because there's nothing on the computer but this little the little thing here the OB the sensor does show it so that's pretty slick so as I step on the gas change a little bit Bearing, timing, advance, acceleration, so 150 degrees. Go for a little quick spin. My road's a little icy here in my driveway. And again, like I said, I know I got O2 sensor fault. I'm not going to drag race my Suburban, so I don't know, I'm not really worried about that stuff. But you can watch the speed change, RPM change a little bit here, and stuff like that. And I'm running on it, you can see it splashing down there, working. So it's pretty neat, I got a lot of learning to do, and uh, like I said, I got this from a gift, or a gift from some good friends of mine. And uh, I know they use it on a lot of their stuff, so I know it's the operator error on like resetting the fault. So that's what I gotta do, and to make stuff work. But uh, I can show you the active faults here when I stop or turn around because I'm driving on the road. So I'll see here. Fault codes. I know, like I said, I got. Bolts. I don't know if that's going to work for a logged or like active faults, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, see, I do both of those codes I've looked up before and stuff, so it's pretty slick. Turn around here, park this bad boy. So, yeah, it's pimp. This little sucker's pretty neat, and I, like, I'm on the free version for the download so I'll probably buy the five dollar one I'm sure it lets you fine tune things a little better I'm just not there yet so coolant I got my bolts going up time is being adjusted so car guys really know what this is this is all the computer stuff I don't have nothing on this vehicle and uh, yeah I don't uh, there's no chips or anything in my suburban so I don't know why it's jumping so much coolant's 180 so there's all the stuff right there, it's probably, I believe it. The 
voltage looks a little off. I'm showing like 14 and a half volts or whatever, maybe a little more. But on this little sucker, it's doing its thing 13.5, so it could be off a little bit on that. But, but all in all, I'm very, uh, there's my GPS speed. And man, mind you, my phone is on my lap because I'm driving. And uh, I'm just trying to play with the sucker, show you how it works. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, there's some boat faults for you. That's what I think they are. So, hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and uh, talk to you later.